Tony picks us up here at the station. Yeah. And then we fall through to Kagavan yeah. and we go to Amos house. Yeah. And our routine is to have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee with him with the farmer, yeah. change and then get ready to go off to the farm. <laughs> But I've been living in town now, clan, since I was about 17. And I've been on my own for about 12 years. I have my own place, everything. I won't be here, you know, if I wasn't, you know, supported by him and his family. Mm -hmm. And his mom and dad and Noah and Ed, they're lovely too. When Max is a very good kid, he's a very great worker. And, and I'm a country boy. I always go to the shop every Wednesday yeah, when I knock down for a bottle of coke and a bag of potatoes. No, Kathleen, you always wanted to see Kathleen. Tim, Eamon, look at Tim, he's taken for the bounty. Look at Kathleen. Are you kidding me, Shay? Do you go farming solids? Yeah. Um, I was inside in the stall every day. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, why do you like coming here? Uh, such farm is my dream. Yeah. Yeah, it's my dream coming to every winter. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 and I could not explain it better. And how long have you been coming here for? Uh, three, three, three and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. And what was it like when you started? It was uh, uh, hard when I started first leg. Yeah. And then, and, then, and then it got easier. Yeah. Yeah. I want to take the hard work. I love hard work. Do you? Yeah. I throw my hands to anything. Yeah. Yeah. Cows, mixing, tolling, anything I put my hands to anything like. I suppose first of all, uh, how I got involved, and I suppose the man responsible for it was, um, I things were quiet at the time, there wasn't much happening around at the time, and I see this ad in the caravan advertising for social farming and I went uh, I inquired about it mm -hmm. and the first man I spoke to was Joe McCrohan and I suppose two things I said um, number one I suppose if anything that Joe McCrohan is behind and he has been an instrumental figure in various projects around South Kerry and all of Kerry like we just see today you know like um, someone like said to me way back at the start like would would um, would it slow you up your days, your, your social farming? Then these are projects that I wouldn't. This is a project I wouldn't be doing today if I were not social farming. I'd be out working. Mm -hmm. And like if I done social farming one day a week for the 52, that's 52 days that I'm doing something extra apart from mm -hmm. feeding the cattle and things on the farm. And I have no doubt, but I have seen massive improvements mm -hmm. on the farm since I took up social farming. We yeah. we do some various different projects now for the summer time. The winter time would be a different story because there'd be probably way more jobs around the farm mm. and things like that you have to weather conditions and different things but like in the grand to in in 15 or 20 years time for these to look back in these projects and say they were a part of this and they were a part yeah. you know and like um no it's it's a it's a win-win right across the board for everyone both for the farm and the participants and i like doing it
It's like you believe it's here. Yeah, because you're one of them. There's a shot here, and, 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 and I'm uh, your man, Brendan Grace. We shall show you the pigs. They were so small at the start, but they grow to this side now, as you see. And they're, they're friendly, but they, they will come to you if, they, if you had food. But when you have no food, they won't come to you. Don't look at me, Shai. Be nice. Be nice. What's the name of this here, man? It's a lagging tongue. A lagging tongue. This block is probably too big for it. It says a bindi no lifting block. I don't know. If that was a long block, we could pull it away. It's easier, no back press. Put all them cut now and lift all heat Thank out there. Uh, come at that in the winter time, we'd have no leaves, we'd have a lovely clean wood chip. Mm. You could put, put it under the calves, or under the lambs. And would they actually would they, would they, would they make the hot, them hot there? No, because we're putting that much underneath them. What's the best thing about social farming? Giddy out. Giddy out near the mountains, near the animals, near the countryside, near everything. If I didn't have this, jeez, I do but I don't know what I'd be. Maybe stuck inside the house, look at the walls, or maybe not do nothing. But this is, I'm lucky to have this. It's just, if we got more, People get involved and know that this is means a lot to us, including myself. It'd be great because I would love to come down here twice a week, like Amy Hogan, the farmer, said that will I be able to come down here twice a week? And I had to say to him, no, because it's all about transport. I love Eamon and the family, his family, his fa parents. I interact with them. They talked to me. I helped Siobhan out, as you saw this morning, because they did a lot for me. They brought me back. And if I didn't have this place, I don't know what I'd do. Maybe, maybe I just, you know, go into myself again and do nothing and just look at the four walls and ignore. But since I'm come here, it's like, Competence is like boost and my self-esteem and I'm talking more to people. I'm interacting more with people. I'm socializing with people. But if this place ended, I don't know what I do. It's just people need to recognize that we need this. We need it. I was slow on taking up social farming at the start. I suppose the only reason that I took it up was number one was, was because of Joe, because I noticed. And then we say giving the participants a chance. But when I see it now, I don't know, I'd be saying to myself, oh God Almighty, what's this wrong with me? What, with me that I was so slow on taking it up? What I would say to any farmer that is thinking of it is to join you. Do not commit it or do not contract it. Hood. It's better to be inside and experiencing than to be outside looking and saying, geez, I'd love to be inside here. Take it on, take, give it a chance, give it a couple of months, give it 12 months, and you know, if we only gave it a couple of months a year, um, when would so to, when would think that you would have more time for jobs around the yard. Take it up, because you're not signed to no contract, you're under no obligation whatsoever. And like, we're very lucky we have, I'm a part of the working group, we have an excellent working group, there is no doubt. And to be, the Spare Kerrypans and Prince and John of Gods and all those people, they're wonderful people to be working with. I suppose we are very lucky in the sense that, and that is why this project in such a short term have been so successful. We have a great group that invented it, 
in the partnership in Cartagena. We have a great group that's involved in it, like the service providers and the, the service users and the working group. There is a great, honest to God, hard working group there committed to this project. And like, oh, you know, I'm delighted to be part of it. <laughs>